Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, Dragonology99. Um, just posting my deck for the uh, the new format. You know, lack of heavy storm, lack of brain control, dark hole monster born, crazy stuffs happening. No rescue cat or substitute. Uh, yeah. So here we go. Starting off, we got three red eyes, darkness metal. Um, these guys are crazy. Uh, once per turn, you can special summon a dragon from your grave or your hand. Uh, because it's from the hand too, it doesn't target, it gets through Necro Valley, which is always a laugh to just own, you know, Necro Valley people. It's great. Uh, you can move and play a dragon to summon them on your field. Yeah, pretty crazy stuff. Next we got three wyverns, um, four stars, four, 1800 beat sticks. These guys are, uh, pretty good in Yu-Gi-Oh!, but when they're in the grave, if you don't normal summon, you can move them from play to pop a red eyes back onto the field. Uh, that's always useful. I love dumping these in the grave. Uh, Alright, three mass dragons. I used to run two, but I mean, three's just been a lot better. Um, they let you search out everything. I mean, I, I cut delta to one, so I, I've needed these. Uh, they help me get anything I want into the field, and I'm not afraid about removing them for red eyes, because i got plenty more. Yeah, and they're not really important on their own, they're just mass dragons. Uh, two prime material. These are like my bodies. They're great. Pop a card. Um, negate anything that destroy a monster. During the damage step two, which is great. Um, reverses mystical, uh, not, uh, reverses magic cylinder. That's good. Any effect damage, so OTK, you just whip it out first turn. No problem. Vice Dragon. Um, these guys are like Cyber Dragon, only they're bottomless proof because they get their attack halved. So, I mean, you can't throw them into beat sticks, but they're great. Uh, special summon removed for red eyes. If they saw a morning and phase, you just remove play Wyvern to get your red eyes back. Um, so, yeah, free removal. Special summon, uh, you use Wing Beat of Giant Dragon. You got Heavy Storm for free. Um, special summons sink into uh, Black Rose, Dark End, crazy stuff. Two Kyokimera Drago. Um, these guys are great. Uh, 1900, 1600 beat sticks. That is, that's a lot of attack there. Um, runs over like everything. Um, Light and Darks. Can't be special summon when he's on the field. Stop scores, Battle Fader, Tratagodia, all the OTK stoppers. It's it's great. Um, if you got one of these and your opponent doesn't have back row, you could just swing for game right there because they can't do anything. Um, also stops infernities, just completely shuts them down. Uh, uh, Dread Dragon, two star tuners. Uh, when destroyed by battle, sent to the grave. You can search a level three or lower dragon into your hand. Great for picking up mass dragons, exploded dragons. Um, even Delta Flyer, although I don't like having that in my hand. Um, they also pop into Black Rose real easy with Vice Dragon. Delta Flyer, this is the, uh, the new tuner we got in Duelist Revolution. Level 3, but he's 1500 so he gets hit by Bottomless, but luckily he still, uh, still can be searched by Mass Dragon. He, um, once per turn you can increase the level of one other face of monster you have, so if you're sinking for a level, with a level 4, you can go for 7 or 8, which is just amazing for versatility. You can increase the level 4 to level 5 to play wing beat with it. Um, this is a great card. I only have it 1 because he's bottomless prone, which I've been found really annoying. Exploder Dragon, 3 stars, 1000 attack, 0 defense. Um, when he's destroyed by battle, you kill whatever destroyed him, which is really useful. Um, you don't take any battle damage if you attack with him, so you can just ram into stuff. Um, what's big? Like, a uh, Blackwing Armor Master, it just kills it. Totem Dragon, this is like a Treeborn Frog for Dragon decks. Um, if all the cards in your graveyard are dragons, you can special summon it. Counts for two tributes. Um, gets removed from play if you do it that way, though. Um, it's great. Uh, yeah. Fun to use. Gets around Royal Oppression, which is always good. Tyrant Dragon. Um, I started using this at the beginning of the format because it's immune to Monster Reborn, except in mirror matches, which is really good. Um, yeah, so during the battle phase, if your opponent has more than one monster, he can attack uh, twice, basically, because, um, and if they try to drop gores after you attack with him, then he can attack again as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, any trap card that targets it gets negated and destroyed. 
So Icarus attack, that's what I usually use it for. Um, uh, they try to pop an Icarus after you Tyrant and Red Eyes, and it just gets negated and you laugh at them. Three Book of Moons. Um, these are just so great in this format. Everyone's popping Trap Stun and stuff. Um, Book of Moons just, you could chain it to, to like anything. Stops Synchro Summons, you flip the Tuna's face down. Stops attacks, uh, stops fall tro combos. It's it's just amazing. Sarcos, uh, two of them. I just got these in the Duelist Revolution Special Editions. This one's the gold rare, but I had to trade like an Armor Master for that. Um, yeah, these search out Future Fusion, Wing Beat, uh, any counters you throw in like System Down to Swallow Flip. Just great cards. Two enemy controller. Um, I started using these after, actually just recently, but because they're sort of like a substitute to brain control. You contribute a monster, take control of face up monster, opponent controls, do whatever you want with it, attack, tribute, whatever. Um, it also, I mean, if you're tributing the monster, you can negate bottomless and stuff so your red eyes doesn't get removed from play, or your wyvern just goes to the grave instead. Also, changes you can change the battle position of face up monster, so it helps you get over necromancer, hoplomus. Um, negates attacks too. Really useful. Future Fusion. Um, this is like what you always go for with Gold Sark. Just about. Uh, you go for five headed, drop any five dragons you want to the grave. Usually two wyverns, red eyes, prime, and totem. Um, two turns, you get a five god if it does come out. Um, but if not, you just get a bunch of advantage. I mean, because you can just right there remove from play a wyvern to special summon red eyes to your f field. It's. It's just great, and if you already have red eyes, you draw a late gain, you can just use it to set yourself up. Put in any tuners, Kyokimera, whatever you want in the grave. Wingbeat, um, I'm running this at 1 now, I used to run it at 2. It's basically Heavy Storm. You return 1 level 5 or higher mon dragon monster from your field to the hand, and destroy all spell and trap cards in the field. It's great, you use it with Vice Dragon for what's known as a Vice Beat. Um, basically, you special summon Vice Dragon, Wingbeat, destroy all cards in the field, you just special summon Vice Dragon again. It's it's Heavy Storm. It's great. Um, I dropped my Vice Dragons down to 2 and Delta Town to 1 because you use Delta's effect to make a level 4, level 5 to use this. Um, so I can't use it as often. There's a lot of ways to use it. Um, you really have to know how to use it. A lot of people don't like it. Um, I personally love it, but I've kept it at 1. I like it like as Heavy Storm, but it gets negated by Book of Moon and stuff, so hard to use. Uh, Burial. Gets back, you remove from play, totems, wyverns, anything that gets hit by a bomb is like red eyes. Um, yeah, good card, negates Sarkos if they if your opponent decides to go for monster. Uh, Dark Hole, just got released, you know, blows up the field, good stuff. Monster Reborn, uh, this card is so evil with Future Fusion, you drop your red eyes in, you Monster Reborn, special summon like Prime. And then in the end phase, you can remove play a wyvern, special summon another red eyes, it's, um... You go for your opponent's monsters if you really want to. I mean, like Gotham's or something, I don't know. Uh, Trunade, a lot of people were running this after Heavy Storm got banned. Clears the field. Um, yeah, kind of hard to negate, just like Bryonic. Returns them to the hand. Uh, an evil combo I've seen, someone Trunades, then Morphing Jars. I'm thinking about throwing Morphing Jar back in, but I'm not sure. Um, this clears the field. You can always use it as opposed to um, Wing Beat. It real good. Cold Wave, also very good. Um, you can do a lot of misplays with it, though. You have to use it at the start of your main phase, and you can't. no one can activate spells or traps until the start of your next turn. Um, Negates Book of Moon, which is better than Traps Done. Um, stops Oppression, lots of stuff. It's, it's a great card. Two Bottomless. Uh, these guys are pretty standard, 1500 or more, remove from play and destroy the monster. Um, anytime it's summoned, love this. Solemn Judgment, um, I've been looking to get Solemn Warnings, but they're like 30 bucks right now, and this was only 15 so... Basically negates anything except for monster effects, and effects that summon things. Well, I mean, yeah, if it's a monster effect that summons something, you're not gonna negate it. Um... But it's great. Half your life points means you can always use it. I've used it at like 100 life points before. You just pay 50 life points to get whatever you want. Good times. Torrential. Um, destroys the field, again, just like Dark Hole. Um, 
it's really good in this deck because you can recover a lot faster. Vice Dragon, remove from Red Eyes, Totem, uh, remove from Red Eyes, or Tribute for Prime or something. Um, even like Totem Enemy Controller, steal something and tribute it, or remove from play their Stardust. Um, good stuff. Wyverns, Red Eyes. Trap Stun. Um, I've been thinking about taking this out because I found that it gets like MST'd a lot before I have a chance to use it. Um, and you really don't, even though it is, people are like, oh, it's chainable and stuff, but you really don't want to, like, chain it on your opponent's turn, and that's when they're going to be using stuff like Trenade, uh, Cold Wave. Um, if they use Cold Wave, though, you really don't have to worry, because then you get to use it. Um, I've been thinking about taking this out for Mirror Force, which has gotten a lot better in the format, because there's a whole bunch of back rows, so they're just, like, blind MSTs flying around. Um, I didn't put MSTs in, because I have Wing Beat, which is Heavy Storm, and Cold Wave, and... Stuff really uh, give me enough control. I don't need it. Call the haunted. Um, I used to not run this because it was a trap, and I really hated it. I know two MSTs. It gets negated easily, but um, it negates Monster Reborn if your opponent tries to go for your own monster, which usually happens a lot with this deck because the monsters are pretty big. So if they're like, oh, I'll, I'll take that Red Eyes there, you just chain this and negate Monster Reborn, which is why I started running it again. Um, great card, comp with Future Fusion. If you Sarko it out, you can set this. Just get your Red Eyes as soon as you pop it in the grave. Uh, yeah. So that's my deck. Um, yeah, it's been doing pretty well recently. I just changed it up a bit. Uh, you know, like you heard, took out a Vice Dragon, took out a Delta Flyer. Um... I took out Oppression, too, because I found it really wasn't working how I liked it. Um, I'm thinking about Bait Doll, which is a really cool card. Uh, forces the activation of a face-down trap your opponent has, and if it's not a trap, it just like shows you what it is, and then it gets shuffled back into the deck. But it causes a lot of shenanigans. If you like flip up a trap stun, it's your opponent's set. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I don't really care about subscribers or whatever, but there's my deck. I mean, it's just really for my reference, so I can look at this later. Um, yeah, so, it's been doing really well. I took it to a tournament the other day, um, before I changed it, and that's how I knew I had to take the other Vice Dragon out. I drew, like, a, a whole, the whole playset of Vice Dragons twice against Machina's. It was just terrible. Um, yeah. So, this is, uh, Disaster Dragon. Richard Clark made this up, um... There's a really active form on TCG Player if you ever want to check it out. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff.